Hi everyone, today we are going to be working on some addition word problems. So yesterday you got some good practice on addition and subtraction strategies and today we are going to be working on addition word problems. So what you need to do this is a pencil, you need a paper, and you might uh, want to use some crayons if you don't have a pencil around. So go ahead and pause the video and go get those materials. All right, so now that we have our materials to help us, we're gonna go through and read these problems. So, Miss Smith read three chapters of a book in the morning. She read four more chapters at night. How many chapters did she read in all? So whenever we're working with word problems, it's really important to look for the key phrase that tells us what we're supposed to do. Um, there are always going to be some important words that tell you whether to add or subtract. So in this one, the sentence is, how many chapters did she read in all? That um, Those words, in all, really tell me that I need to add it all together. So now we're going to look to see what could possibly be the add-ins in this story. So I see that I read three chapters in the morning and then four chapters at night. So those are going to be my add-ins. So those are what I am adding. So I'm going to put three. Miss Smith read three chapters in the morning. One, two, three, and four chapters at night. One, two, three, four. On your paper, go ahead and draw the circles similar to mine. You do not have to draw a red and blue circle. You can always just use pencil. That is fine with me. Now we're going to go ahead and count these. So let's count them together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Miss Smith read how many chapters in all? Seven. Good. So now we need to write a number sentence that matches this problem. So Miss Smith read three chapters in the morning. So I'm going to write the number three. And our symbol that we're using is the plus sign. Three plus how many did she read at night? She read four. One, two, three, four. Three plus four equals seven. So this is what I want to start seeing on your paper when we are working through these next problems. Go ahead and uh, move on to the next part of your paper and we're going to move on to the next problem. Our next problem is Miss Schwartz went to the beach. She found 12 seashells on Monday. On Tuesday she found 8 more. How many seashells did she find all together? Did you hear any words that tell you what you are supposed to do in this problem? If you said all together was a key word, then you are right. How many seashells did she find all together? All together is saying that we need to put these numbers together. So we are adding, we are joining them together. So on Monday, she found 12 seashells. Go ahead and draw 12 circles on your paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then she found eight more on Tuesday. So you need to draw eight more circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so one thing that I really like to do when I'm adding, um, it makes it a little bit easier for me. I like to find a group of 10, and that way I'm not spending so much time on counting. So when I was putting out my 12 circles, I already made myself a group of 10. So I'm just going to go ahead and circle that there because that makes it a little bit easier for me to count. Now it is totally fine if you need to count all of these individually. I just like to make a group of 10 because then I can just count on. Makes it a whole lot easier for me.
So uh, let's count to find the sum. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So she found how many altogether? 20. Good job. So now we need to write our number sentence. Go ahead and write yours down first before I write mine. And she did 12 on Monday. So 12 plus 8 equals 20. Good job. You rock. All right, let's get ready for the next problem. Okay, for this next one, you are gonna work out the problem by yourself, and then we are going to check our work together. So I'm gonna read you the problem. I want you to listen for the key words and um, look for the numbers that you might have to add or subtract together. So let's see. Miss Lee went to the dog park with her dog, Sherlock. At the park, she saw five small dogs and seven big dogs. How many dogs did she see at the park? Okay, I'm going to read it one more time, and then you're going to get started. Miss Lee went to the dog park with her dog, Sherlock. At the park, she saw five small dogs and seven big dogs. How many dogs did she see at the park? All right, so what you need to do is draw the circles and then write a number sentence to show your work. Uh, go ahead and pause the video, and then when you are done working out the problem, unpause the video, and we will go over our work together. If you are done with your work, you can continue watching. If you're not done, you need to pause and finish your work, and then you can watch this part. So, Miss Lee went to the dog park with her dog, Sherlock. At the park, she found five small dogs and seven big dogs. How many dogs did she see at the park? So, you should have drawn five circles to show the small dogs. And then, you should have drawn seven circles to show the big dogs. So, three, four, five six, seven, and then add them all together. So I did mine once again to make that group of 10 easily. I know that there's 10 right there because there's five and five. So I have 10, 10 plus two. Let me count it. 10, 11, 12. 10 plus 2 equals 12. Good job. If you have that, you are awesome. We are ready to move on to the next problem. Okay, our next problem, we are going to do the same way we did before. So, Miss Salamanca was feeding baby Aria Cheerios and Yogis. She ate 10 Cheerios. Then she ate 6 Yogis. How much food did Aria eat? I'll read it one more time. Mrs. Salamanca was feeding baby Aria Cheerios and Yogis. She ate 10 Cheerios and she ate 6 Yogis. How much food did Aria eat? All right, you need to pause the video and I need to see those circles and a number sentence. And when you're done, unpause the video and we will go over our work. Okay, I hope you're all done. So, Miss Salamanca was feeding baby Aria Cheerios and Yogis. She ate 10 Cheerios, so we need to put out 10 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I already have a group of 10 right there. I should probably circle it before I forget. 10, and then she ate six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now let's count. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. She ate 16 total. So your number sh sentence should show 10 plus six equals 16. Good job. And remember, if 
the make a 10, make a group of 10 does not work for you. You do not have to do that. Please count the numbers individually if you need to do that. That is a really great strategy. This is just the way that I like to do it. Um, but you need to do the strategy that works best for you. Okay, let's get ready for the last problem. Okay, our last problem is there were four butterflies and nine ladybugs in the backyard. How many bugs are there in all? I'm going to read it one more time. There were four butterflies and nine ladybugs in the backyard. How many bugs are there in all? Okay, so you need to draw your circles and then write a number sentence and we will check our work together. So pause the video and I'll see you in a second. Let's check our work. So there were four butterflies. One, two, three, four. And there were nine ladybugs in the backyard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many bugs are there in all? So in all is telling us that we need to add. Um, this time I'm not gonna make a group of 10, I'm just gonna go ahead and count them. You can help count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are thirteen bugs in all. So my number sentence is four plus nine equals thirteen. Good job. If you did that, you are a rock star. All right, guys, so after this, you are going to go ahead on to Seesaw, and you will have some word problems to solve all by yourself. I cannot wait to see your hard work, and all of the first grade teachers are so proud of you. So we'll see you later. Bye, guys.